Well, I've taken a little walk through uh, Stanley Park from Third Beach to Siwash Rock, an uh, iconic rock here in Stanley Park um, that's beautiful to study the forms with and the spacing around. Um, I've been really interested in the dark and light structures of things lately, and uh, this really calls to um, investigate those kind of things. And so as um, I start to paint, I will actually block in sort of the dark structures that I see here. And I also have new glasses, which hopefully will help me see and observe because plein air painting is really about observing. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. So I thought I'd start with just a little underpainting um, like I did in the last painting with a little bit of pink, just to sort of add a difference to the water and lay that in as a background color. Just put that in here. It's quite strong. Um, maybe I'll warm that up. So you know you can always use finger painting to start off with, for or any rag to get a underpainting. So when I look at the shapes, uh, I could outline it with a pencil, um, draw it in first. Uh, but I just can cover this. Is a, this can be covered later anyway so might as well just uh, I'm gonna just remind myself of these little highlights here while the sun's hitting them quite nice and then I'll cut that in later and then this part here a little cooler maybe more purple Let's lay it in just as the main structure so here are the if I was doing a no tan of this this would this would be the dark here, all dark here, and then there's some darks here. So, just cut that in. It's a nice way to also soften this canvas with a little bit of the medium. It's a canvas board by Raymar. I really like uh, their ver variety of canvas panel, but any canvas panel can uh, be fun to work on because it's solid. So even a straight piece of birch wood gessoed or something can be good to work with outdoors. And uh, okay, yeah, that's a good lay in a few little block shapes and I'll remind myself the horizon line not in the center. Let me bring that down and we'll get, we'll get that nice spacing of the light area there that I'm responding to. Right, so um, I just keep painting. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay in uh, the darks. Uh, let's get a, let's get some. You know what, if in doubt, paint's gray and a little bit of umber for the warm brown parts is always a good dark. Uh, you can mix your darks too, like I did before. I really wanna draw attention to the base of this solid rock. So that's what I'm doing here. Reflection. Always a little more muted and possibly even lighter than the solid shape itself. That's how you can do reflections. But really, observation's the key. What do you actually see? And is it a warm shadow or a cool shadow? And this is midday light, so uh, there's a play on that. In the morning, usually as the sun comes up, there's different uh, lighting options and in the shadows against the the sun it would be cooler uh, but you have to just look and see what you feel it it is and and have a gesture about the structure uh, playing on and even just let it play itself out with uh, paint very thin paint and solid paint It's a matter of what color to pick out, and there's so many colors in there. But to keep it simple, sort of warmer up here, lighter too. It's lighter clay, and there's this really lovely, almost green. Gonna get a brighter green. Probably a really nice highlight. Ah, oh, those little geese are singing along. 
Maybe they're excited about the fact that I'm almost done. And uh, I like this bright green here at the edge. So I'm gonna try to get that in there. You see this really nice little highlight here. And this is a little bit smooshy, so I should wait that for that to dry. But what I'll do is I'll just lay in quickly the gesture here of that, and hopefully that'll be enough to pick the rock. It's hard. It's got all these funny edges. It's almost too thick still, so I'm going to take this edge in, and so pure white can always help that. So that's the idea. You can restructure things, but if it's wet, it's hard to really get a clean edge in there. So this can be the clouds. That's, that's good. That going. That's good. There, and I'm going to cut that right down. There. I lost where that this is West Bend. I got to get that in there. Good. So hopefully, this is starting to. Out as a, a rock there, and the last little bit is a, maybe a little that bird flying there that took off from the maybe not, <laughs> and. Uh, bring my eye into this painting and I like that uh, quick stroke there so I'm just going to leave that and finish it off. So I'm just adding the last little finishing touches here um, with the bright sky. Attention there to that and also the warmth of the rocks just uh, showed up there so I'll add uh, that little bit of orange uh, warm color here that I that I see just just lining that a bit and uh, the reflection, maybe another one here, I'll carry it through. And I think that's good for the day and I say thank you for this day and this opportunity. Here by Lynn Valley, uh, where I know that uh, some of the group of seven came to paint and um, Varley was one of them that uh, painted uh, from this location and visited often. And so for me, I appreciate uh, not only what uh, I uh, took from his work,